Hi people, this is Meta from CodingMac.com and I'm here with you with a new video series which is titled What's New in SharePoint 2016. So uh, let's start with the series after a long period of time uh, with a new series. So what's new in SharePoint? Uh, so where are we now in the release period of SharePoint 2016? Uh, in August 2015, the uh, first uh, public release of SharePoint 2016 uh, was made, which was the IT Tech Preview version. And then uh, the Beta 2 version was released in November 2015. And just recently, in January, the uh, release candidate version was released. Actually, you can consider it as Beta 3 version. Uh, the release candidate version is actually a patch to the beta 2 version so uh, if you would like to install that version you should first install the beta 2 version then you should patch it to the release candidate version and uh, the RTM version is expected in quarter 2 2016 uh, and it's argued whether this version is the is the last version of on-premises uh, product of SharePoint, uh, we don't know that yet. Uh, th there were uh, arguments about it in the past. Uh, maybe it will be the last version, or we will see. Maybe it's the last version of SharePoint. Maybe the product in the future will be titled as Office Offline or something like that. Uh, we will see that in the future according to the updates from Microsoft. So uh, Microsoft has announced uh, a couple of years ago their approach as cloud first, mobile first. So uh, in the past how they managed the process of transferring SharePoint to the cloud was uh, first release the version, release the SharePoint version and then transfer it to the cloud as a SaaS service. But after SharePoint 2013 and uh, after it gets released, uh, they changed this approach and they started to update it uh, first on the cloud and then let users uh, be the first ones to use the system and then release the changes to the on-premises versions. So the users in the cloud are the first ones uh, to use the system uh, as of now and it will continue to happen like that in uh, 2016. Uh, so we can think of 2016 version as a synchronization package coming from the cloud. So don't expect very major changes in 2016. So about the upgrade, uh, there's one limitation of the beta version. You will not be able to migrate the beta version to the RTM version. So uh, don't uh, just upgrade your existing farms. Uh, you can upgrade them just for testing the migration. Uh, but just keep it like temporarily. Don't... Uh, uh, don't lose your existing farms and uh, the this is the maximum upgradable version which means the maximum upgradable version is 2013 not the beta version and the minimum upgradable version is 15.0 uh, that, oh, that the, the remaining which is the March 2013 public update version so if you don't already have this version installed in your environment you can uh, start upgrading it uh, from now if you are planning to migrate to 2016 when it gets released so that's all for this part uh, thank you very much for uh, listening and uh, viewing and you can visit codingmac.com for other videos and uh, other parts of this series will come soon. See you again.